was a young kid, I wanted to be Norman Rockwell, so I painted all these Norman Rockwell type paintings. And when we're traveling around with the kids, I'd see little parks and there wasn't much to them. And so I thought I've had a lot of art background through the years. And so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I couldn't get anybody convinced in the idea. Even, even my family, my wife wasn't for it, or my in-laws, or anything. It started in 1964, that's when I purchased the land, and then worked seven years of my spare time and opened it in 71. In the brochure, that map, you know, showing the whole park, yeah, I did that and all the, all the artwork around here, the paintings and everything. And a lot of the figures, all those sculpted either out of cement or fiberglass. No formal training, I've never taken a class or anything. Oh, probably in grade school. I know we get so many comments about people say that they love it and this and that. And we're getting people now, you know, that are, when they came, they were little, and now they got their own kids, bring them through. So it's different generations coming through now. It's kind of fun to look back at these things. <laughs> things, a lot, a lot of change since then. I've done it so many years, it's just, Something I really enjoy being out here and, and overseeing everything and working every, practically every day. But I'm 82 and I'm still able to climb up the ladders and whatnot, so I feel kind of lucky. Basically, I kind of had an all over idea what it would be like. But you know, things evolve and you get different ideas through the years. And, and uh, everything just kind of changes a lot from the original plan. And then the times change, people change, so you got to adju adjust to that too. Yeah, so it's, it's something that's an ongoing thing all the time. But so far we're pretty lucky, everything worked out pretty well for us.